Once the scan is complete, we can report the results. The results will be found under the Issues tab. We can highlight those with Control A, right click, and report the selected issues. If you don't want to report all the issues, you can select them individually. The format will typically be HTML if you're going to give the report to someone to read. However, if you're going to re import these results into other tools such as GRC systems, you'll probably want to export it as XML. You can choose the level of detail that you want to include in the report, and this will largely be based on the audience to which you're giving the report. On the next screen, you can decide whether the HTTP requests, the raw traffic that was heading across the wire, and HTTP responses are going to be included in the report. You can also include full requests and full responses if you want to ensure that the recipient can reproduce what happened during the scanning exactly. Under the next screen, we're able to choose which of the issues we want to include on the report. If you want to leave one of the issues off, you simply uncheck it, and that section won't be included in the report. Next, you pick a file name. If you chose the HTML report, you probably want to give this an HTML extension. You can click on the dialog box to change the directory where the report is stored. Put the file name in the file name dialog. Click Next to save the report. Assuming you save the report in the HTML format, you can open it with a standard browser. The report will contain a summary at the top and then have one section for each problem. Individual issues will be listed under the section. The report is hyperlinked, so you can jump down to the section by clicking on the links.